Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Untold Stories of Berks County Artists. This has been a really fun series. My name is Joe Painter, and I want to say thank you very much to the Way Missing Foundation, to the Berks Arts Council, and the Pennsylvania Partner for the Arts for making this series possible. We have met some very, very interesting artists and seen some incredible work, and our work isn't done yet. So let me introduce you to Christian Egbert. Hi, Christian. Hi, how are you? I am wonderful. I just found out about you mm -hmm. from Lori Rhodes, mm -hmm. and she reached out to me and she said, have you heard of Christian? You gotta find out about his work. So tell me what's your connection with Lori Rhodes? Um, I actually met her at the bar. <laughs> Okay. Um, she told me about her nonprofit business that she has going, which is a uh, business that ships um, pet food, if I'm correct, out to hungry animals. This center for pets and their people. Yes. The wellness yes. center for pets and their people, yes. Yes. And um, I basically, I, I explained to her what I did. I showed her pictures of my art. I told her, if you're in need for uh, mural work, I can help you out. You know, I, I, I can do that. And she was more than happy to... Uh, put me aboard the crew for helping helping with that. So you're painting a mural at her new center? Yes, yes, it's indoor, indoor mural. Um, the one I did at the drive-in theater, I know you didn't brush up on that yet. Um, the one I did for there was an outdoor mural. The one I'm doing mm -hmm. for her is an indoor mural. Well, you brought with you, Yeah. these are animals, these are critters. What kind of critters will be on the mural for Larry Rhodes. Well, uh, what I discussed with her is a possible underwater kind of scene with that. Much like this one? Yeah, yes, That's cool. yes, yes. sea turtle. Yes, um, it's more of an underwater scene with fish swimming around, sea turtles, uh, stuff like that. You know, I figured that would get people in the right mood because she also does uh, meditation and yoga. Oh, correct. So to get people in the right, um, the mood and the mindset for that relaxation that she wants you know, in that You wanted that to paint sort of that peaceful environment. Yes, yes. I'm curious, Christian, when you met Lori, you said, so I told her what I do. Yeah. How would you tell me what you do? <laughs> I like to uh, provide to the community and to, uh, you know, my local town. I like, you know, uh, that people can know exactly who I am, mm -hmm. you know, because they know what I've done, you know, and that's one of the great things about providing to the community is you get that that sense of uh, local no notoriety and friendship. What do you uh, mean friendship. about providing to the community? Well, I have like a, a firm belief that um, artists can actually help uh, small businesses grow. Mm. So I, I mean like by that. drawing more people into those businesses by doing, you know, murals and artwork and stuff that people see and oh, what does this place sell? What does this place do? Right. What kind of food do they serve? You know, um, stuff that would really bring them more business. So you've identified that the art does draw people in. Yes, yeah. You describe yourself, or I saw on your, on your bio, as an experimentalist. Yeah. What does that mean? I like to experiment with all, all mediums of uh, painting oh, and okay. uh, drawing and stuff like that. I like to try something new because I can always figure it out. That's so the, what are these mediums? Um, this is acrylic and that's acrylic. They're both acrylic paint. Um, but I brought those in because I have the most experience with acrylic paint. Um, oil paint I've picked up, but I don't think I've quite mastered. And, uh, you know, uh, watercolors I'm terrible at. That's the one. That's, <laughs> if you don't say that's so my, that's my That's my Achilles heel is watercolor. Okay. okay. But um, acrylic paint is probably my, my strength, I would say. So that would be your favorite. And it's good for it's good for walls and buildings. It sticks, mm -hmm. sticks and mm -hmm. stays, and uh, it holds off from the weather pretty good. So I mean, where's the inspiration? For example, this picture. I mean, that's that <laughs> is a captivating owl. I love for for uh, I love painting animals for the most part, and I love doing you know space themes and uh, just stuff that has that glow to it. You know, I it's just. Uh, it's one of those things that I like to paint that other people like too, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's kind of finding, connecting the two, you know? So are these animals that you've painted here in your mind's eye? Um, or are you painting from a picture? <laughs> it's kind of funny because <clears throat> a lot of times when I, when I paint, I almost go into like a daydream state, okay. you know? Okay. Uh, you know, I can't tell you where these things come from. Uh, from your mind's eye, then. A lot of times yeah. they just start out as a shape or a form, and I kind of go, oh, that kind of looks like this or that, and I just sort of sculpt it into that specific thing that I see. 
I mean, the, the strange thing, strangest thing about being an artist is when you look at patterns, whether it's on the wall, in the wallpaper, or whatever, you always kind of make your own creation in your head out of it, you know. Um, even if it's like dirt on the floor, you see it as like a face on the ground, you know, it's, it's, it's. So you look for shapes and, and figures in the sky too, I imagine. Oh yeah, I, that yeah. always happens, yeah. you know. But. So did you always know you were an artist? Yeah. I mean, I used to, when I was little, um, I used to watch my brothers draw, and, and uh, it always fascinated me that you can kind of make your own creation out of something that's, that starts out as nothing. So when you talk about your brother's drawing, does art run in your family? Um, not, not really, like, long down the line. It's really just our... Your core family? Yeah, yeah. our core family, uh, you know, they always... My, both, both my brothers were good at drawing. So. Do they still draw? Not, not so much. So I, I mean, I'm the one that really stuck with it, with the drawing and the painting and stuff like that. Have you studied art? No. You haven't studied at all, yet no, you produce this beautiful I work. Wow. I haven't, I haven't been to any uh, post-secondary education or anything like that. I didn't really have art classes in school. I did go to Burke's Career and Technology Center for like a graphic design kind of program, mm -hmm. and that helped a little bit with my drawing, but it wasn't exactly... Uh, you know, what I've had all along, you know what I mean, which was, I, I want to say raw talent, but not sound cocky about it. No, it you is know. raw talent. But that I think that's a very real statement. Um, there's some of your work is somewhat sci-fi. Oh, and yeah. when I say sci-fi, I mean, you've incorporated some astrology up here, and it looks like there's a, oh, yeah, a galaxy I mean, is forming the eye of the owl. Yeah, yeah, I love doing that type of stuff. I, you know, that's... It always comes together right and always comes together nice for Where me. Where does Mr. Anomaly come from? Um, that is sort of a online thing. I mean, my friend and I discussed it. You know, I, on one Halloween day, I had this, this face mask on. And I said, I need, a, I need a name for this character. You know, it's so bizarre and so unique, you know. And um, my friend and I came up with the name Mr. Anomaly. And I figured, you know, this could be something, you know, if it really picked up, it could be something that goes viral on the internet or who knows, or I could use it towards the brand that I'm creating. So you which, have a, a web page yeah. called Mr. Anomaly, right? What's um, the full name of it? Um, I can't tell you the name of the actual website. I can tell you the name How of the How about the Facebook page? The Facebook page mm -hmm. is The Art of Mr. Anomaly. The Art of Mr. Anomaly. You gotta check it out. I think you'll like that a lot. And you're writing a book? Are yes, yes, yes. I've been working on a book for about two years, and uh, it's been coming together. It's just I'm more about the art than the writing. So it's, is the it's, book about you? It's about yeah, it, it is, but it's not like uh, it's not a memoir or anything. It's almost something used to help other artists avoid my failures along the way. Oh, and that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, um, I've you know along the lines of selling things and stuff like that. I've realized my mistakes and. The stuff that I did that was right that actually closed the sales and stuff like that. So despite you haven't, you know, pursued post-secondary education, you are using your talent and your gift. It's clear that you have one and enjoying that. Mm -hmm. But you're also pursuing this as a career, right? I'm detecting. You have that's, commissioned work and you're selling your art. Yeah, that's what I want to do in the long run. Uh, but um, I think I told you about my website that I'm making. But we can't talk about the name. We can't talk about the name. <laughs> okay. It's soon to be released. Okay. That's all I can let, let, let you know. But um, what I'm trying to do is set up a, a way to sell all these things to these people and uh, make it a popular website more so as a brand than just promoting okay. my name. Okay. Um, Speaking of a brand, you've painted your shoes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I painted these. or like pirate shoes. <laughs> I can like you see them? that. <laughs> no, you're not seeing them? you got to hold them up higher. That there you go, <laughs> <laughs> and you they go together and it makes a picture. Yeah. I yeah. love it. I love it. So you're building the brand. You've talked about commissioned work and mistakes you've made along the way. So would you offer any piece of advice to other perhaps students who really enjoy art and maybe they're not being encouraged so much or they're saying you know they're here and get a real job? Um, I get tired of hearing that. Um, so what's your advice? I, my advice is. If you have a talent that everybody recognizes and you're confident that you can sell, really it's not about what you're selling, it's how you're selling. You need to learn how to market correctly 
and uh, figure out a way to do it that nobody else is exactly doing it, which is what Mr. Anomaly is. Okay. It's a bizarre brand image that I'm using to set it apart from uh, all the other apparel, clothing, sales websites. So you're branding yourself. Yes. Which is yes. very smart. Yes. It's a good marketing yes. move. One last question, Christian, because we ask this of all of our artists. This is mm -hmm. the untold stories of Berks County artists. So what is perhaps one thing about Christian Egbert that a lot of people don't know that you might like to share today? I was scared of this question. <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> um, I've had a lot of strange experiences and very bizarre experiences, which I can't, I can't emphasize because I feel like it's gonna get, bring ridicule along the way and stuff like that, or I'll end up leaving in the back of an unmarked, unmarked van or something, you know what I mean? It's just very uh, bizarre, uh, strange stuff that I, I that has a lot of uh, impact on my art. So some of your experiences that you don't necessarily talk about become influence yes. and motivation for your art. Yes, yes, yes. Well, the net result is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it works out. It all comes together. Thank so. you for those experiences and thank you for sharing your story. No problem. I appreciate thank you for it. thank you for having me on here. Look him up.